So this is Deadpool and this is the world's most famous gargoyle gecko. Of course, he is my favorite gargoyle gecko that I have here. Today, I am going to show you all the other amazing red striped gargoyle geckos that we have that don't get the same line line that this guy does. So Deadpool is easily one of my most impressive red striped gargoyle geckos and it's not necessarily because of the amount of coverage that he has but because of how well his color has held over the years. This gecko is over 10 years old and he still looks like he did when he was four years old. So that is very, very impressive. Now Deadpool, of course, he's being bred to a variety of different red striped females like this girl here or one of my favorite females I've ever produced this is Scarlett Johansson right here, my beautiful girl. And she is actually an offspring of Dracula. One of my dreams was to mix the Dracula bloodline, and they're all going crazy, the Dracula bloodline with the Deadpool bloodline. And they have produced some of the nicest gargoyle geckos in the world. Deadpool, everybody knows him, but now I'm gonna show you some of the other ones we have. Now this beautiful male here, his name is Austin Powers. The reason his name is Austin Powers is because I actually imported him from the United Kingdom and he is an absolutely stunning six stripe gargoyle gecko. Another name for a six stripe is a super stripe. And look, you could see all the saturation that he has on the sides of his body and of course all that red that he has on top. And Austin Powers is a crazy gecko, but he is paired up with two very, very brightly red colored females. And I'm gonna show you those girls right now. This girl here is a badass gargoyle gecko. Also has a lot of coverage on her, a lot of speckling, uh, red blotching on the side. She loves to jump, but I love to catch these geckos. Look at her. Color on these geckos are insane. All right, well, we're playing fuck gecko hot potato here. This is the other girl that I have with them. She is not as bright. Obviously, she's a little bit older, so her stripes have kind of faded a, a bit. Also, just a beautiful, amazing gargoyle gecko. And look at that regenerated tail. And next, I want to show you one of my personal favorites that I have shown on the channel before. This is Red Rage. Red Rage is an animal I picked up from my buddy Francesco at MOC Reptiles a while back. And the amount of red coloration on this guy is insane. Obviously, when we're going for red geckos, we wanna put more and more color on these animals. Also, you, as you can see, there's a trend here. I'm trying to produce a lot of animals with a lot of red lateral striping. This guy is just gonna be a, a good asset to my projects because when I have all these geckos that are unrelated, I'm basically trying to diversify and strengthen the bloodlines of these red striped gargoyle geckos. I'm not breeding and inbreeding and inbreeding and inbreeding and making the, the, generation, the, the next generation of these animals weaker. I'm actually trying to strengthen the lines by diversifying the blood. So this is Red Rage. Uh, he is amazing. And this is one of his girls here. More of an average looking red stripe, but with that animal in her blood, we're gonna produce some nice babies. She's really dark and lo she looks like she's about to go into shed right now. I also have this boy here. His name is Carnage. And Carnage actually only has one female. That's her right here. But Carnage, was produced by Magnum Geckos. And this is another boy that has insane lateral stripes. Look at that lateral stripe. He also has a yellow base coloration and a little bit of speckling on his eyebrows. Stripes are super thick as well, which is always a good sign. Whenever you want a quality gargoyle gecko that's a red stripe, you wanna make sure that the two inner red stripes are solid and that they go through all the way down to the tail base. Uh, of course, you can't see the red that was on his tail because that is also a regenerated tail. But these two animals are producing already some of the craziest uh, blotched and red striped gargles I have ever seen. And I just love that yellow base color. Look at that yellow base coloration. Look how yellow that is. That's Carnage and his female. We don't just have three red stripe gargoyle geckos, we have a lot. So this is Bloodbath. Bloodbath is a little bit of a different animal. He's really light. Well, of course I say he's really light and he's not light right now. But this 
is what he looks like. He's actually one of my favorite new males that we're breeding this season. And as you can see, he is lacking those inner red stripes, but he has a lot of blotching and outer red stripes going down his back, which I think gives him a really cool look. It's not very, um, very common. Typically, the red stripes and the red blotches will be in the inner uh, dorsal stripe, but this guy lacks that, which I think it gives it a pretty cool look. And when he is not fired up, he is actually paper white. So he gets really, really light and he has an awesome contrast to him. But this is Bloodbath, I love him. He has a couple of different females. I'm kind of experimenting with him at first, so his females aren't too crazy. But let's get on to the next one. I will show you guys one of my favorite um, yellow striped gargoyle geckos. He is not a red striped, obviously. Here he is. This is Skunk. Now Skunk, as you can see by his base coloration, he is a yellow striped. Now, look at the, the, the stripe on this guy. It's not a regular stripe. It's like one bold stripe down the back. And I just think that is one of the craziest things ever. Now, just to show the contrast between a regular black and white and a yellow. This is the yellow stripe. This is a black and white reticulated animal. Now, I do have another female here. Here she is. This is another striped, as you can see. The difference between that really bold stripe that he has going down the back. Very, very distinct. When I, when I saw this guy for the first time a couple years ago, I was like, I have to have him. I was bugging the guy who, who had him for a couple years before he actually let me buy him. And now he is here and he's produced amazing babies for us. So let's put these guys back. Skunk has produced a lot of animals over the years. Oh, look at that. This is a infertile egg with a piece of poop on top. So this guy here is Orange Dream. He is an orange blotched reticulated yellow base gargoyle gecko. And this girl here is one of his females and she is a red blotched, but she also has a little bit of a yellow base as you can see. Now this guy is absolutely insane. These geckos are going nuts right now, going everywhere. But I just love the amount of blotched animals that these guys produce. And the reticulated pattern is really busy. There's a lot of variation between the reticulated pattern. There's reticulated, there's banded, there's even mosaic patterns. Mosaic. That are all based from the reticulated pattern. This one in particular is more of a reticulated pattern, but you could see this guy also has a yellow base. Look at his belly. This guy is awesome for sure. Now I'm gonna put him back because these geckos for whatever reason were really rattled up and I'm gonna show you guys the Count. Now the Count is also a gecko I imported from the United Kingdom and the reason his name is the Count is because one of my favorite British fighters is Michael Bisping and his nickname is the Count so that's why his name is the Count. But this is the Count. He is an absolutely stunning orange super striped gargoyle gecko. Look how thick that those lateral stripes are and just overall the, the red stripes running down his back. This is one of the geckos I was really excited to import when I did bring him in. And this is one of his females right here. A really nice orange, but that's not the girl I'm looking for. He has another stunning female. She might be in the cork and if she's in the cork, we're not gonna get her out, but yep, she's in there. Let me see my... Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm getting her out. But just take my word for it, she's really freaking nice. But this is the count. Love this dude. All right, now one of my most famous gargoyle geckos is also Dracula. And Dracula is a gecko I got from Steve at Leaping Leeches years ago. This is actually one of my first red striped gargoyle geckos ever. So this guy is easily over 10 years old. He is also a yellow based gecko. Look at that belly. And of course, Dracula has held his color very, very well. He actually produces some of my best red striped gargoyle geckos to date. You can see he has lost some of his cheek coloration. A lot of this back uh, red striping is not as thick as it was before but this is an absolute legend of a gecko. And if you have a red striped gargoyle gecko, you know, you might know of this animal right here. 
This is Dracula, one of the legends, one of the pioneers in Tiki's geckos for sure. Now, I also have this other gecko. This is the first year I actually started breeding him and his name is Yield Sign. He is one of the brightest like neon red gargoyle geckos I have ever seen. And this is something I'm gonna work on to produce just really, really bright red stripes going down the back. As you can see, his red is not as thick as some of my other animals, but it's just a highlighter red, and I'm really excited to see what we could do with him. Yield sign is definitely one to keep out for in the future. Now, to keep an eye out for the in the future. Anyways, next is probably the most exciting gargle gecko project I have, and that is White Boy. White Boy is an animal that is possibly a amelanistic or a hypo. Now let me see where White Boy is. He has two groups, so he's either here or in his other group. He is in his other group. This is White Boy right here. As you can see, this is an animal that, you know, is very, very unique. Not, I have never seen an animal, a gargoyle gecko this white. And I know it is genetic for a fact because he has a brother that looks identical to him. There's another person in the state of Florida that also has uh, an animal that looks very similar to him. He fires up a little bit like more, but there is no dark pigmentation on him whatsoever. It is a little streak of, of really, really light gray and yellow pastel coloration on the sides. But just to put them into perspective, this is another super light gargoyle gecko that I have them paired up with. As you can see, she is not fired up either, but you can see that even when she's not fired up, she carries some of that uh, melanin in her striping. But White Boy has none of that. It is one of the craziest gargoyle geckos I have ever seen in person. And next year we will find out if we can produce more of these animals. We're, I'm really confident that we can. I think it is a genetic mutation. Everybody who I've talked to says it is a genetic mutation that is acting and it looks like a genetic mutation. Only time will tell when we start releasing these guys. It is something I am very, very excited about. Just the possibilities of what we could do with this animal. Imagine a Deadpool red stripes going down the back of this animal. The crazy contrast. Imagine just no pattern at all. Just a white gargoyle gecko. Like paper white. It's going to be insane. I'm really looking forward to, to bringing this project more to the light as we start to develop it more. But as of now, he's going to stay with his ladies. That is White Boy. I also wanted to show you guys some of my other really exciting projects starting with Deadpool Jr. This is his first year breeding and I think this is one of the best groups I have here. Deadpool Jr. is paired up to a bunch of killer gargoyle geckos. I'm going to show you them right now. This is his, this is, this is three, his three girls are all in this cork bark. I have two super striped gargoyle gecko females for him and a super blotched red uh, based animal here. As you can see, this gecko here, I actually imported from Korea. If you guys remember that video I did a while back, she is absolutely insane. Easily one of my best females I have. And look at the eyebrows on her. She has that red speckling on her eyebrows, which I find that the highest end gargoyle geckos have. All the red stripes around her body is just unreal, super solid, lateral line. This girl is badass too. I also got her from Leaping Leeches. But now on to show you Deadpool Jr. Now this is Deadpool Jr. here. He is a super deep red, red base gargoyle gecko. He has the red lateral striping that I love so much and he has some stunning blue eyes. I love this guy because he is exactly what I love about Deadpool. Just that really deep red that's gonna pass down to all of his offspring. Imagine these two paired up, I mean, when I tell you that this is one of my most exciting pairs, I, I just can't even, I can't even put into words how, how much these babies are gonna mean to me. So I'm really excited to see where this project goes, how much red we can start to actually put on these animals. As of right now, they are some of my best. All right guys, so I showed you Deadpool Jr. Now I'm going to show you Dracula Jr. And this is actually another one of my stunning studs that I absolutely love and I produced a couple years back and he's been breeding so good for us this year. 
Now, if I could only get them out of this cork bark. Now, I know what you're thinking. All these nice gargoyle geckos makes you want to get one too, right? Well, we are actually doing a gargoyle gecko giveaway for all of our YouTube subscribers. Now, we're going to give the gecko away once we reach 85,000 subscribers at the time of this video. We are at 81,000 subscribers. So as soon as we do 85,000 subscribers, we're going to give away one of these red striped gargoyle geckos. Now, all you have to do to join this giveaway is make sure you share one of our videos on any of your social media platforms, screenshot that, make sure you email that over to us, and make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification. Email that to us with the subject line, YouTube Gargoyle Giveaway, and you will be entered into the giveaway. Now, this is Dracula Jr., another one that is a super stripe. I love those lateral stripes going through the sides there. I think that is one of the coolest uh, traits gargoyle geckos could have. Obviously, he's been breeding, so he's been a little beat up. You could see a lot, a, a lot of the scalation here and the scarring, but that is completely normal when you're be breeding gargoyle geckos. This guy is Dracula, but better. The first generation of really nice gargoyle geckos were having those really nice red stripes down the down the, the middle, right? Down the back. Then the next generation started having thicker stripes, even four stripes in the mid dorsal area, and even some speckling on the sides. Now this generation is now having those crazy lateral stripes, and the next generation after this one is just having way more coverage on the sides and on the face. What we call the lipstick when it starts to reach over into their mouth, and what we call the eyebrows when the red is reaching above their head. What's gonna happen the next generation after that, we don't know. We are super excited to maybe even get a full red covered animal. Maybe we won't see any of these, you know, black streaks of pattern. And I am, as Ali likes to call me, butterfingers with these geckos. But um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is an amazing animal now, but what we are producing in, with these groups and we're, we're gonna start mixing them together and creating even brighter and redder uh, gargoyle geckos. That is what's really exciting about the future. But anyways, this is Dracula Jr. Now I'm gonna show you one of our all-time favorites, Pennywise. And Pennywise hasn't even been breeding for that long, but he's produced the most insane gargoyle geckos you have ever seen, including my favorite holdback of all time. I will show you that at the end of the video, but right now we're going to show you Pennywise. So Pennywise was a gecko that was produced by Renee King. And look at this gecko. Another example of that crazy super striping pattern where the red laterals are just so clean. They go all the way from the cheek, all the way to the back of his butt right here, through his sides and everything. Insane red coloration. Obviously, he is really fired up right now. He is a, a, like a little bit of a pink face. Really nice looking animal. Pennywise was paired up to that Deadpool daughter I had um, a couple years back and they produced some insane animals. I am going to show you one of Pennywise's best offspring of all time. That is my favorite holdback of all time. But this is Pennywise. Don't worry guys, he is breeding. I'm actually gonna show you some of the females he is breeding with. This one comes from CB Reptiles and she just has insane lateral, uh, red lateral stripes right there. As you can see, that's what I'm going for with, with Pennywise. And here is another girl. Some of these girls are, are kind of old, so a lot of their pattern is faded, but this one is like a pastel -y red stripe, uh, also blotched. The red stripes on her aren't all the way solid, but I mean, just the coloration on this animal is insane. Very, very pastel looking and just a solid animal to pair up to Pennywise. Anyways, let's go look at this holdback and close out this video. All right, and to end this video, I wanted to do it with my favorite gargoyle gecko I have ever produced. And this is a Pennywise Deadpool daughter offspring. Now, I showed you guys this gecko in one of my older videos talking about all the hold decks that we had, but it has progressed so much since that video that I wanted to show you guys this gecko again. Look at all the lipstick coloration, the eyebrows, the overall color on the head. The red is starting to drip into the mid dorsal line 
and it's starting to fill that really, really nicely. The red goes all the way, all the way through to the tail tip and it's just such an insane gargle gecko. I truly believe this is the best looking gargle gecko in the world right now. I think that for the size and the amount of red and coverage that it has already, it doesn't get any better than this. So I am going to need an epic name for this little dude. Let me know what you think I should name him. Maybe I'll even do a little contest for the winner or, or send some free merch or something. But I am super stoked about this gecko. I hope you guys are excited to see this gecko grow up. And if you are, make sure you subscribe. We are going to be doing updates on this guy all the time. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.